here and I just wanted to tell you that we're gonna start using this channel to do reviews as well cosplay related reviews uh, obviously and this time we have Alice and Rabbit which is a store that sells cosplay lenses and the reason why I bought from them specifically is because I've for, for the past three years it's been a hit and miss between lenses that were really pigmented and showed up in my eyes and lenses that didn't so I stopped buying cosplay lenses, aka circle lenses mostly, for about a year and a half because I just couldn't find the right lenses. And they wouldn't show up in photos and I'd be really pissed. Until I found about I found out about this store about it about around that time, but I never really actually bought anything for some unknown reason. I think I was putting up so many costumes at the same time that I didn't have a, a clear notion of which color and which lenses that I wanted to buy. But this time I bought the lenses for Nagisa and as you can see it came in this package and that I'll show up close. And I was actually pleasantly surprised by the little, you know, thing. <sighs> I'm so tired, sorry. Also excuse me for the messiness and for the occasional cat. His name is Draco Malfoy and he likes to ruin all my shots. Doesn't he? Doesn't he like to ruin my shots? He's a nice kid. And he bites my ass in the night. Anyway, I'm gonna open up the package uh, in front of the video so you can see how it looks. So I'm gonna kill the package with a scissor. I don't wanna ruin the little drawing. I'm gonna be really ghetto about it because I'm always ghetto about this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try and not ruin anything. Okay, there we go. So it's a little envelope that I opened up. And now it comes. It comes so pretty. Okay, so it comes with a little lens case. It's actually a really cool lens case. Lens case. Lens case. Um, it's not like those um, cute like animal case lenses, but I actually don't like them because they don't have right and left visible and they're really bulky. Like, to bring around in my purse or in my lenses, um, um, my lenses case, I have a case for the lenses case. When I go out for cons or photo shoots, it's really bulky and it has an, an animal, okay, it's cute, but I can't close them. And these are my number one cases. And then they come like this, they come wrapped like this or pretty, so they don't break or anything like that. And I'll show an up close shot of the lenses inside of it, but this is awesome, okay? It's awesome that they come like this. Anyway, up close shot. So as you can see, there it is. The lenses are right over there. These are Crystal Max lenses in red, non prescription, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm you know, and this is a case that comes with it. And as you can see, I opened up the package. Nothing inside, just that, okay? Now we're gonna open up our pretty case. Again, sorry for the messiness. It's, ugh, it's the studio. It's always messy. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna try and see if you can see anything. And I wanted to do this first review with and everything, including opening up the lenses. Because the next reviews from Alice and Rabbit will be just focused on the lenses themselves and not really the opening up of the package. So as you can see, here are the two little vials. Comes like this. And I'll try and post an up close shot of them. These are it. So as you can see, they're really pretty. Stop, cat! over my cat violated the shop okay so these are the lenses and again crystal max lenses in red Oof. none prescription as I said before and they're just really pretty so pretty so pretty so pretty so here's the lens 
as you can see it's a it's red but it's a kind of pinkish red to my understanding so I thought they'd turn out great for night sun plus they have a little bit of a um, once put on, it looks like I have a little bit of a light um, pattern. I don't know how to explain it, but they look really beautiful. Anyway, that's it for the first part of this tutorial, which is packaging opening. And see you on the actual review of the lenses once they've soaked in my liquid long enough. Bye-bye.